Aren't you looking so professional? This is so cool. There's a lot, there's a microphone, there's a camera, a Oh, it's just proper. Yes, it's just, uh, I leveled up. So. Okay, so we're not trying to like <laughs> kill our canvases, yeah. Okay, sorry ma'am. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's the first. And that is the total how much your your handle is going to touch. You don't just take paint out of the tube and then start like, ah, oh, la, 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 la. No. No. That's, that's no. Hey guys, welcome back to this week's Hand Sealer Art video. This week I held my first ever painting class. So today's video is snippets and kind of the flow of how the class went. It was lots of fun. I held it with a few of my close friends and I taught them how to paint roses in a vase. These are the two paintings that I had done. This one I did before the class and this one I did during the class. This is a very, very beginner's tutorial. My friends didn't know much about painting and drawing at all. And so I walked them through the process of painting these flowers. It was lots of fun and they all ended up turning out differently, which is what I wanted. I wanted them to all have their own individual character and I think it was a very successful night. The reference image I used was from Unsplash and I have linked it down in the description below. I hope you enjoy this video and that you learn something along the way. Have fun! <laughs> to start off our paintings, we're all going to grid on our flowers. I want you guys to get your reference image and we're basically going to prepare our reference image and grid it so that we can grid it onto our canvas accurately. So if you look at your reference image, I want you to separate it into four. So you're going to go one line down the middle, one line in the center. So use your colored, your highlight or your cokey or whatever you've got just so you can see it. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as you've got an idea of like four sort of quadrants on your image. If you look at your reference image, the first thing that I pick up when it comes to ridding my, my artwork on is I looked at the center and can you see the lip of the jug is directly in the middle of the canvas. So now what I want you guys to do is I want you to look halfway between these two and you're just going to make a little line on the side here for the halfway mark. And same for the top one here, you're going to separate this one into half as well. Okay, so now we're going to go even smaller. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to grid, we're basically trying to grid it on so we can put this onto our canvas without having to trace it onto our canvas. So now we're going to look at the bottom half of our grid. Can you see this is, it's not exactly halfway, but it's just under halfway. Can you see this here? So I want you to put a line, put a line underneath your jug like this, just lining the bottom. And if you mark your halfway point at the top here, and then mark your halfway point again, can you see that quarter point is the top of your flower there? Uh, yeah. We've got our vertical line going down the center. Now I want you guys to mark off, if you go halfway between here and here, can you see kind of Kind of halfway is where our, the, the, what's this, the handle of the jug ends. So we're gonna mark off here, we're gonna draw a line from the top to the bottom where the end of the jug, the end of the handle is. And then also this lip over here, can you see it's, it's not exactly halfway, because that would be halfway, but it's just short of halfway. And if you guys wanna go even more in depth, <laughs> this is getting quite nitpicky. So obviously here's your halfway between these two over here. We are going to now go instead of halfway, just under halfway so we can mark off where we are going to put our, so this would be your halfway point, where our jug goes in and out and where our handle ends. Are you guys all surviving? Yeah, yeah, yeah. actually the pace to listen. Are you all surviving? Here we go. So you're in halfway. So if you go halfway again and halfway again. Yay! Go Kiri! She's drawing. She's literally gonna have the best one and she's not even seeing what we're doing. No, Are you stuck? 25th. Oh, yes, yeah. 25th? I'm driving on mouse one Ah, like, damn, woman! So now, we're going to take, I know it looks scary, but mine does too. And we're going to now transfer that onto here. The lines? Okay. Yes, so we're going to do the same thing. Freehand? Yeah, yeah. We're going to take a pencil, because we don't want to have our multicolor cookies on our canvases. And press lightly, guys. You don't want to press too hard. <laughs> 
sorry. Okay, so we're not trying to like <laughs> kill our canvases, yeah. We um. Why did you tell me that before? <laughs> sorry, guys. This is my first um painting tutorial no, with people, joking, so I forget joking. that I have to like explain. Explain. <laughs> so now what we're gonna do? Have you done your halves and halves? Oh my goodness, <laughs> halves and halves. Is this fun? Or do we need another one? No, it's perfect. That's perfect. That's so we don't worry, we will we will cover it with paint, okay. but it's just you don't want the pencil to like blend with the paint and makes it murky. And usually, I would use a colored pencil crayon to the color of yeah, what I'm painting. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously, I'm gonna press a little bit harder so you guys can see. Um, press hard. Yeah. So don't press as hard as me. Okay. Okay. Sorry, oh. ma'am. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 what? That's the first. <laughs> no, no, you're doing great. You're doing great. So that is the size of your jug. Uh, oh, okay. You can actually bring it down a little bit more because this would be more. Are you guys all coping? No, this thing. Something went wrong. No, don't worry. Don't worry. Can you see it? Kind of goes just like a little. It's not a straight line, but it just goes up a little bit like that. Even if it helps you, what you can do, take your finger. Mark it off and put your finger where it ends and then put that on your board and then you can see So if that is your halfway line oh, okay. and you'll be able to see oh, okay. How how much space you need from your line that helps a lot you guys are doing great now This side is almost double. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna draw a line if you just look at that angle even if you need to draw it here to get the, the angle like used to your wrist getting used to that movement of that angle draw a line like this of the, the angle of the lip and we're going to go from here and we're literally just going to go down okay. yes perfect uh -huh. there we go so then you're just going to draw one there perfect Sab. just one line <laughs> Dory, this this is the difficult part but i want to show you guys how to grid it on how to actually go through the process like it will get a lot more fun, I promise. It's dot to dot, like you would do as a kid. <laughs> so now we have a line here, and we have a line here. We literally just need to join them. Oh, okay. They're all gonna have character, guys. I want you to look at the, the shape of your jugs. Our jugs don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Um, <laughs> our jugs, our jugs, <laughs> do that. <laughs> so, they should. so this, this, that's no. That, oh wait, that is, that is correct. So far yours is doing this. So you've got all of this negative space here. Oh, that so you fold in. So you would come in like this, and then you just do like that. If you want an eraser, we've got an eraser. Oh, I've been using it the whole time, you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm just gonna take a piece of sushi oh. now. So, the hardest part is almost over. So now, what we're going to do is we want to put our handle in. Can you see the lip goes just slightly higher? Yeah. So you're going to basically translate that onto yours and you're going to look at the top of yours and you're going to go just slightly higher and you're going to make a little mark because that is the highest point of your handle where it's going to be on, there we go, perfect. The end of your, the end of your handle should line up with your half line here. Yeah, so you should have three lines, one, two, three. And that is the total how much your your handle is going to touch basically that's how big it's gonna get so now in this scenario we're going to look at the negative space as well so when you're drawing it keep in mind the negative space and can you see this negative space is almost like a semi it's almost like a semi heart when you guys draw your handle just make sure that your negative space kind of matches the shape that you, you see here. So we're going to do this in, in individual lines like this. If I had to go in, in um, <laughs> if I had to go with individual lines guys, watch this. It's one line going at a 45 degree. One line going at, what's this? No, no, no. One, one, I was going to say zero. Line. One line going straight. <laughs> one line going at a 45 but the other direction. One line going that way. So guys, we're only going to have one, two, three, four lines in our entire handle that's going to make up the general structure. One line 
one line, one line, one line. When we start painting, it'll get um, easier. It's just gritting it on correctly. So the thing with drawing is we're looking at shapes. Where we are going to draw a general blob. That is the space that your flowers are going to occupy. Your flowers... No, no, it's good, it's good. Basically, we are not copying this exactly word for word or picture for picture. As you can see by my image here, I didn't like these flowers. I didn't want them. There were too many leaves. I wanted more flowers, so I added more flowers. So we have drawn our flowers in, or we drawn our shape that we want our flowers to sit in. Now guys, what I want you to do, very simple. We're going to basically do a bunch of fried eggs. That's what they look like. We're going to pick, so wherever you want to put your flowers, so this is going to be very, very basic. I'll, I'll walk you through it when we start painting. Basically, you're going to draw a circle, which is going to be that shadow in the middle, and you're going to draw a circle around it. Doesn't have to be perfect. You're gonna, it looks like a fried egg, literally. You're gonna do a circle and a circle. Super easy, super simple. You really can't go wrong. <coughs> <laughs> now what I want you guys to do, once you've got all your little fried eggs on your canvas, I want you guys to just do, okay this part is like really high tech, you're gonna draw a line like that. <laughs> and if you want you can just add in little leaves like that. It doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't, it's just so you have a guideline of where you want your greenery to be coming off the jar. Now that we've done this, I know it's going to freak you guys out, but our gritting on is done. So, yay, well done, well done, cheers to that, that was epic. Well done guys. Oh, well done Carrie. Mmm. Please be careful with the paint. This is acrylic paint. It's acrylic paint, so it's a fast drying water based paint. So if you spill this on your clothes, it will stain and it will be a mission to try and get out. So please be careful, everybody. First thing first, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to start with our background because obviously that is your background. And we want to try and get as many things on top of that background. We want it to dry first so we can paint. So it creates this illusion of depth. That the flowers are coming forward and the leaves are coming forward. So, can you see the predominant color in your background is gray and blue, mm -hmm. mainly shades of blue. I've obviously made it very blue in that because I really like that blue and I wanted these orange flowers. On the color wheel, the opposite of blue is orange and that's why I chose orange for my flowers because they popped the most. So usually when you're painting, you don't just take paint out of the tube and then start like, ah, oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're not going to be doing that. That's, that's, no, you don't want that. You want to be able to, can you see it's like, ugh. You want to mix your colors, you want to get your colors nasty. So if you look at this color, we're going to start with this sort of darker color in the back. And can you see it's got a bit of blue in it? So you're going to get your gray, you're going to take a little bit of it, you're going to put it on the side, and you're just going to add one little like dip of blue and you're going to mix it in with that gray to get like a very blue toned dark gray. Because that is a way more accurate color than that. This is very much a very expressive style. It's very, it's not realistic at all. It's very wish-washy. You you're gonna have very like expressive strokes. So what we're gonna do is we're going to start, see this halfway line that we've drawn in. We're gonna start off there as our horizon line. And you're just gonna draw in with that color and you're gonna make little X's like this with your paint, little X's to create this sense of movement. It's the horizon line. Your horizon is that line that we drew in the halfway point. So just keep going, drawing X's like this, crosses, it's gonna create movement, it's gonna fill the space, it's gonna make it a bit more plumpier, it's gonna add a bit of texture, and we're just gonna keep going. It's okay if you go over your flowers, because acrylic paint dries very fast, so it is going to dry and we will be able to go over it. But for now, we just want to get all of our background colors on. The whole thing with this technique is you want your, your brush to be wet, you want your paint to be wet. You don't want to dry as well because then you're dry brushing and you can't achieve 
<laughs> but that's the actual thing. Yeah. You can't achieve the technique that we want to do by dry brushing. And so remember, if you look on the back of here, remember guys, we have our highlights, our midtones, and our shadows. Our shadow we haven't used yet. We've used midtones and highlights. So we're not even our our highlight highlights. So technically, we're these are. The These are all midtones. Those are all midtones. So whatever colors on your canvas, you want to go one or two shades darker than that. Now just go with little movements and the same thing. I want you to make tiny little X's, but just very small, small ones, tiny ones. And I want you to kind of start blending it into your base blue color here. That is where your shadow is falling almost directly under your flower. Now remember, we still need to do our Reflection. Technically your light source is coming from here. This is where your sun is. That's why your shadow is falling this way. That's why these leaves are so much more greener and that is almost black. So pretend there's a sun. So can I ask you a question? Do you Over here. Oh, Who me? Yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh, you look so. <laughs> this, is my life. this is my life. <laughs> Like oh, now that I'm ready again in real life, you work unbelievably quickly. I uh, know. Like, I'm sorry. Actually, like you see it in the video and you can like, spit up, but it's not. Like this is just really normal. <laughs> Your reflection almost starts under. It almost starts like it's being pulled underneath. Can you see it? Almost like it's it's coming out of the bottom of your jug, which yeah. it is. If you have too much paint on your brush, wipe it off on your serviettes, and you're basically just going to again bring it in from the side and then work your shadow back in. And you're just gonna blend again with tiny little crosses. You're gonna blend in that white. We've got our highlight, which is our white. And can you see I created a mid-tone? So you want a mid-tone color for your jug, which we're going to mix. Can you see I've left a, a streak of white? I am gonna cover that, but you don't. Can you see there's a thing called backlight? with shadows. So can you see, although the light source is coming from here, the light bounces off back onto your object and that, that's why you've got this, this, lighter, this lighter streak because it's, it's bounced back last. Looking good. So just one solid movement for your handle and then you want to create, get a little bit of blue, a little bit of gray, whatever you're feeling as long as it's darker than the white and you want to put it on the top because that would be directly under your leaves where your leaves would form a shadow over it. <laughs> so how are you guys feeling? Yeah, I feel like mine looks amazing. They're good, good. The quick and easy way to do your roses, you need to make sure that you have a highlight, a mid-tone and a shadow. So I'm going to do one and then I'm going to show you guys how I did it. Basically, all of our flowers are going to be made in parts of three, which is highlights, shadows, and midtones. So can you see here, I'm mixing, I've got a shadow, I've got a midtone over here, mm -hmm. and then I've got a highlight, which I'm going to use as white. So I'm keeping this as simple as possible. I'm going to get my darkest color, which is our, our orange, and I'm literally going to do, again, little X's, and I'm, I'm not going to co copy it exactly, but I'm literally just going to place random little shadows around. And then I'm going to get my mid-tone and I'm going to fill in the gaps of the mid-tone. We're going to add in a highlight around. Obviously, we're going to do this in layers. And we're going to add in a bit of a shadow again. Here on your reference image, can you see you've got petals that do this? So if you want to bring those in, you can, which is kind of what we're doing here. But remember, this style of painting is very, uh, it's not realistic at all. And that's why it kind of looks like its own stroke, but it's giving the illusion that these petals.
for staying to the end and watching this video. I hope that you were able to walk away with something interesting from this video and learn a little bit about painting and drawing. My friend said it was a huge success. They really enjoyed it. They were very proud of their paintings and we had lots of fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe and like this video if you did like it and want to see more tutorials like this. Okay, bye. <laughs>